Terry Ranch has been around since the 1930s. We are a family that has deep roots in California. The original family came from Tennessee in 1905. Grandpa, my husband's grandfather, bought the farm in 1930. And to pay for that farm, he hitched his team of mules and did the road work for seven miles once a week. And that was on Sunday, this day of rest. And he actually plowed the road from Highway 63 all the way to where 99 was. He also used that money to buy his first tractor. Because I actually have found one of the mule shoes when we were planting trees. These guys must have been huge. Because that mule shoe is, is a big mule shoe. He also had a dairy of 30 cows that he milked by hand and sold the, the cream to make butter. It's amazing what they did during those days to just keep the cash flow going. We're just a little bit different these days. We do farmer's markets to keep the cash flow going when we're off season. We actually have at about 10 acres of our farm that we bring to farmer's market and we grow just a little bit of everything. Stone fruit, apricots, which is a stone fruit, but just happens to be one of my favorites. We also do a very unusual crop, which is quince. There's 380 acres in the whole state of California, and we're the only, about the only ones to grow it. I get to talk to people. I'm a people person. I actually love talking to customers. Hi, I'm Momi, and this is Paul, and we have been coming to the farmer's market for over 20 years. Um, this Santa Monica Farmer's Market, I think, has the best produce. It's got really great variety. There's mushrooms, there's fruit, there's vegetables. It's a really great market. We've been shopping at Terry Farms with Farmer Becky for, I don't know actually how many years. but Six or seven? But as, as soon as she's been here, we, we uh, started buying her fruit. It started out with quince uh, in the autumn, because I don't think anybody else has quince in, in the L.A. area. Um, and it's such a such a cool sort of fruit vegetable for uh, Thanksgiving. But you know the stone fruit that she brings in the peaches, the peaches, the nectarines, apricots. That's so good. And she always takes care of them. I've been doing farmers markets for 25 years. I'm seasonal. I come in in June and I leave in November. I see kids grow up. I see parents with new babies. It's like coming home every time I come back. I get hugs, I give hugs. Um, my customers are my family. I am Bethany. I work for the Jelena Group, sourcing produce. I enjoy coming and meeting up with Becky uh, every Wednesday and uh, Saturday and seeing what she has available, what's going on at the farm and really like, catching up and seeing how like each season brings new surprises. That's why you come back to a farmer's market, because you build that relationship with your customers and the farmers next to you. We're all in this together. Love you. I love this farmer's market and I love stopping and talking to the different vendors and I'm grateful for what you're doing. Make sure you catch the Japanese farmer down the road there. She's amazing and she brings unique things to the market. Thank you.